Uh, so let's go over uh, today's arm farm. The theme is sit and get ripped. Uh, so very uh, little equipment uh, in terms of today. Uh, what we're going to be doing, for those of you who have never done arm farm before or deck of cards before, so we do arm farm every Friday. We do it in deck of cards form. Um, so basically deck of cards is each suit is a different movement. Okay, the number on the card represents how many reps that you're going to do. Uh, the suit represents what movement you're going to do. Um, and then face cards are 10, aces are 15. Okay, we go through the whole deck and then there's two jokers in the deck. And we define the movements for the jokers, which we'll go over here in just a second. All right, so first things first, hearts is going to be isolation curls. Okay, so these will be seated isolation curls for the purposes of today. All right, so uh, isolation curls, when we draw a card, let's say for example, we draw a two of hearts. That means we're gonna be doing two each arm. Isolation curl, we have done this movement before, is we are pressing our elbow up against the inside of our thigh or our leg, and we're curling up. We'll do two on one arm, two on the other, if we got a two of hearts, okay? The next movement, uh, diamonds, okay? I'm calling these segmented curls, all right? So I've actually never seen um, this movement. It's a variation of the 21 method when it comes to curls. And so whenever we draw a card, so let's say for example, again, let's use two. Uh, two of diamonds gets drawn. We are gonna do two um, curls at the lower half of the curl and two at the upper half. So what this is gonna look like. So if I draw two of diamonds, it's going to be one, two, where I'm only coming up halfway. And then the next two will be one, two, okay? So we're segmenting it between the lower and the upper portion of the curl, and that's taken from the 21 method. I'm just calling it segmented curls, okay? Now for spades. Spades are gonna be tricep extensions. Again, theme of today is sit and get ripped. So we're gonna do um, seated tricep extensions, okay? Depending on what weight you have, you can either do double-handed, okay? So if you have a dumbbell, double-handed here, um, or you can do uh, single-handed. So if you have a light dumbbell, just double that number and do it on each side. So any one of those, as long as we're in the seated variation, all right? So that is an extension, okay? Um, if you have a kettlebell, okay, you can also do a kettlebell as well. And again, for the other two movements, I think everybody has uh, dumbbells, but if you don't, you know, an isolation curl can be done with a dumbbell. Um, and then, you know, our segmented curls can be done with a kettlebell as well. So um, any type of uh, equipment works for that. Clubs will be dips, okay? So just in that seated variation there, dips. And then for our jokers today, you know, it's been kind of a, a rougher week. Um, we're gonna do just teapots, okay? Don't let the name fool you. These will make you super sore. So whether you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, what a teapot is, is you put one hand behind your head, you do a standing variation on this, and we're gonna do 20 to 30 reps each side. Okay, so I'll do 20 to 30 on one, 20 to 30 on the other, every time we draw a joker, so there's a total of two. So we're really working on those obliques and the sides of our abs. Okay, so those are all the movements. If you have any questions, type them now. Um, or if you need to see a different equipment variation, just type that in and I can demonstrate it. Uh, I'll give you guys a couple minutes to get your equipment here and then we'll get started. So again, those of you just joining in, all you're really gonna need is a bench, chair, a dumbbell or a kettlebell. One of those two variations. Two pieces of equipment for two different variations. Waiting for questions. No questions. Okay. Um, can I get a thumbs up from some people to let me know you guys are ready to get going on this? I see some thumbs up come up on Instagram Live. Jamie's ready. Let's see a couple more. Okay, Todd's ready. Tiffany's ready. 
Debbie's ready. All right, I think we're ready. All right, that's a lot of thumbs up. All right, Anne's ready. Okay. This is International Arm Farm, guys. We got Costa Rica up in here. This is awesome. All right, let's do this. Okay, so here we go. Go to the deck. First car is going to be five of spades. So that is five tricep extensions. If you are just using a heavier dumbbell, all right, two hands, total of five. If that's too light and you want to do single arm, five on each side. So that is the first one there. Next card, nine of diamonds. All right, segmented curls, okay? So we are gonna stand on this one. All right, so this is nine on the lower half, nine on the upper half, or vice versa, just you're segmenting both. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, all the way to nine. Then once you get to that ninth one, then do the upper portion. Segmented curls, so that's going to get us pumped. All right, ten of clubs is next. Okay, that is going to be ten dips. Now, for those of you guys who have been uh, doing a lot of our at-home workouts, uh, you know, reminder on the dips, uh, you don't need to go below parallel. We're not trying to round those shoulders. We're just going down as low as we can while we're staying nice and upright and driving up. Straight leg or slight bend, either one works for me, but total of ten here. Two of hearts. So that is two isolation curls each arm. Okay, so again, put that elbow inside of our knee or thigh. Okay, other hand on the other leg. Up. Try to get a little twist at the top. So that's two each arm, two of hearts. Stay right there. Next one, three of hearts. Three more each arm. So when you are doing this, okay, think about twisting the, the dumbbell head that's closest to you to that shoulder, all right? So it gives you a little bit of extra flex there. So that was three each arm. Okay, next one, four of clubs. What's up, Cindy? Four of clubs, so four dips. Okay, uh, Queen of Spades, so that is 10 tricep extensions. Okay, so either 10 each arm, if you have light weight, you're doing single arms, or 10 total. Also guys, um, I should have shown this variation. If you just have two lighter weights, you know, so like, let's say you got a couple of fives, a couple of eights for those tricep extensions, you can just easily hold those together and do them both at the same time. So that's another variation that works. Okay, next one, Ace of Hearts. 15 isolation curls, each arm. Next one, eight of clubs, eight dips. Q 
King of Spades, 10 extensions. Six of diamonds, okay? Six segmented curls, so this is six and six. Six lower, six upper. I'm gonna go sideways on that one. Then upper half. Okay, same thing, seven of diamonds. Okay, seven and seven. Sorry. Off camera, off camera. Oh gosh. Those are gonna those are gonna hurt once we get to some higher higher reps. Okay. Six of hearts, six. Isolation curls, each arm. Three of clubs, three dips. Two of diamonds, two segmented curls. So that's two lower, two upper. Ace of spades, 15, tricep extensions. Everybody catch up. Okay, first joker. Teapots. Don't let the name or movement deceive you. You've probably heard me say this before. Okay, um, you will get sore. Maybe not with how many reps we're doing, but what we're looking for is 20 to 30 each side. So depending on what weight you have, that's what we want you to do. So again, I like to put my hand just behind my head, and all I'm doing is squeezing, and I'm focusing on concentrating Kind of this upper oblique or that upper side of my abs, okay? So that's 30 one side, 30 the other. Again, 20 to 30, somewhere in that range. So we're just going to the side, not forward. Guys, take 23 seconds. Catch back up here. All right, Glenn, why are we doing teapots for arm farm? Because we got to have abs too. You don't want to be that guy with like awesome arms and then this big old beard gut. No way. We need we need the total package here, people. Okay. All right, here we go. Next card. Queen of clubs, 10 dips.
king of clubs, 10 more dips. Six of clubs, six more dips. Who shuffled this, huh, Debbie? Right, five of hearts is next. Five isolation curls each arm. Okay, ace of clubs, 15 dips, 15 dips. All right, four of hearts, four isolation curls, each arm. Seven of spades, seven extensions. Jack of spades, ten extensions, ten more. Right, ace of diamonds. Oh, get ready for the pump, people. Okay, 15 segments of curls. This is 15 bottom, 15 top. This is going to get spicy, all right? Try not to break this up. Try to get all 15 and 15 without setting it down. Here we go. Top half. Ooh, baby. We're probably gonna get some more right here. Oh, thank God. All right. Next one. Eight of hearts. So this is eight isolation curls each arm. Back onto that seat or bench. So eight one arm, eight on the other. All right, six of spades, six. Tricep extensions. Four tricep extensions. Two tricep extensions. Okay, King of Hearts, ten isolation curls each arm.
Nine of hearts. Nine isolation curls each arm. Nine isolation curls each arm. Get your biceps ready. Ten segmented curls. Ten bottom, ten top. Here we go. Whew. My arms are on fire. Okay, three segmented curls. Three lower, three upper again. Oh my God. Ten of diamonds. This is the worst shuffling I've ever done. Worst shuffling ever. All right, ten of diamonds, ten lower, ten upper. Dig deep. Four diamonds, four and four, four lower, four upper. <laughs> five and diamonds, five and five. So this is where like our deck of cards in general get really spicy. I didn't think this one was going to be that hard on the movements I chose, but the way these drew make it hard. So five bottom, five top. I'm sorry, Kate Todd. This is killing me too. Not like I'm just telling you guys to do this and not doing it. All right. Not segmented curls, but still more curls. Seven of hearts, so seven isolation curls each arm. Nine of clubs. Finally getting back to some dips. All right, nine of clubs, nine dips. Seven dips. Ten dips. I really shuffled good. I don't know why these are all together. I did not plan this. There's that other joker. All right, break from arms. Twenty to thirty teapots. Each arm, let's go. So again, hand just right by the head. And all we're doing, just kind of like this subtle little flex of our abs right here.
barely hold on to my dumbbell. Right, let everybody catch up. Right, I think everybody's probably there. Ten of hearts, okay, so ten isolation curls each arm. Jack of hearts, 10 more isolation curls each arm. Should I slow down? I can slow down, Debbie. Go so fast, I don't want to lose the pump. Pump can go real quick. <laughs> All right, everybody caught up? Somebody give me a thumbs up. We'll wait for Debbie to give me a thumbs up. Losing the pump, losing the pump, losing the pump. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we there? Are we there? There we go. Hey! Okay, two dips. Two dips. Two clubs. Yes. Eight of diamonds. Okay? Eight segmented curls. Eight lower, eight upper. Here we go. Don't sit down your dumbbell, because we got more. Yeah! Ten of diamonds. Ten more. All right. I'm going to finish up with a major pump here. Nine spades, nine tricep extensions. Face card, face card, queen of hearts. Ten isolation curls each arm. Ten one arm.
right, King of Diamonds is next. So finish up those isolation curls and let's hit some more biceps. 10 lower, 10 upper. Alright, 10, 10. We only have four cards. Uh, yeah, four cards left, guys. Okay. 10 of spades. So, 10 tricep extensions. Eight of spades, eight more tricep extensions. Three of spades, three more extensions. Last card, guys. Five of clubs, five dips. And that is it. That was a hard one. Not movement-wise, but just the way the cards were drawn. Like, pump is real on that one.